I have just turned 36 and I have got grey hairs in my beard. And I was wondering, can I actually reverse them? And probably up until last year, I would have said the science says no. But 2020 gave us coronavirus, and it also gave us our first indication that we can actually reverse beards going grey and turn them back to their original colour. But not everything is what it seems. There's a little thing about this study that uh, means we do need to take it with a grain of salt. This video is based on an article on beardgrowingpro.com, so go check it out. There are links to all of the science that I'm going to mention in this video. So if you want to really nerd out on making your beard uh, change back to its original color, go check it out because you won't be disappointed. I did a lot of research for that article. Also, give this video a thumbs up if it is helpful for you. Okay, this study, the one I talked about before, was a 2020 study performed by Columbia University, and they looked at 400 individual hairs of individuals, and they found that at the tips of the hair, there was gray, and then after that, where it was growing after it was gray, it turned back to brown. So they're like, what on earth is going on? What they actually found is when they looked at the stress that people are under, that uh, the gray actually kind of correlated with the moments that they were at the highest stress. So it does mean that these kind of behavioral factors and these psychological influences can impact our uh, body's ability to create these uh, color molecules, the melanin that gets placed into the beard hair as it is growing. Now the problem is, is this article is actually published in a non-peer-reviewed thing at the moment. So there's a thing called BioArchive, it's a pre-print uh, place where people can send their research, scientists can send their research. So we do have to take this with a grain of salt at the moment, but what it does sort of like show us is that there are things that we didn't kind of understand before that could potentially turn our white hairs back to brown or dark hairs. And there's also other little bits of science that I wanna share with you in this video that you may find interesting that looked at white hairs turning back to brown hairs. Okay, other science that has shown gray hairs turning back to brown hairs, uh, there's two that I found. 2017, a Spanish study looked at the side effects of chemotherapy drugs. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go out and get yourself some chemotherapy drugs, but what it does again indicate is that there are potential chemical solutions, drug solutions for getting your gray hairs back to brain. And so they found that there's some side effects in three of drugs that they tested. It's called, the, the drugs are called Keytruda, Opdivo and sen uh, te tech centric or T centric. I don't know who's making up these names, but they are a little bit rubbish. But those drugs actually caused people to have gray hairs that turned back to brown hairs. And also, interestingly, it showed that the chemotherapy was working for people whose hairs turned color back to their original color. They were the most receptive to those chemotherapy drugs. So it's kind of like a visual identifier um, for the people that uh, the drugs are working with. So that's fantastic. And there's also a 2018 study, one year later, it was published and uh, it looked at dogs. So once again, take this with a grain of salt, but when dogs had tyrosine put into their food, they found that Labradors actually uh, regained some of their color that they had lost due to age. So those two studies, once again, none of them are conclusive and none of them talk about beards um, directly or humans directly, but I think what it does show is uh, that there are some potential things around the corner, but not quite yet. Science has got your back soon. To really understand why it's so hard to turn your gray hairs back to brown hairs, you have to look at the reasons why. And I think the biggest thing is the genetics, right? So in 2016, there was a study that actually found the first ever link between uh, genes like a gene and gray hair and other things like monobrows and other kind of hairy features. Um, I put the link in that article as well. And um, yeah, it's just incredible. So genetics will dictate when you go gray. Like I started going gray about two years ago, I started knowing them, like one in my chest hair, one up here, and uh, I think I've checked with my, my dad, and he kind of went gray around a similar time, although he's not bald. Got that from my mum's side, I guess. 
Um, and so yes, genetics and also environmental factors like oxidative stress um, can actually cause your hair to go gray sooner. It can't be reversed once it's been sort of through these, uh, these changes because of genetics or stress. But it did find, a study did find in, in uh, 2013 that uh, smoking did actually significantly increase the amount of gray hairs on a person's head. So if you are a smoker, you're increasing the amount of oxidation in your body, and that can actually impact the uh, melanin producing cells at the base of the root as the hair's growing. It essentially kills the pigment cells and uh, you're left with gray hairs. So that's all of the studies that I think are super relevant to whether or not a beard can be reversed. I think prevention is better than cure. We know from the science that uh, you can't really fight your genes, but you can change your environmental factors like smoking, eating a lot of antioxidants, um, all of that stuff can help you delay the onset of gray hairs. And the only science that we've got kind of indicating that we can reverse gray hairs is that first one I talked about, the 2020 study, where it did show that if you remove the stress from a certain situation, your hair can actually then end up reproducing the color molecules, the melanin, uh, to be incorporated into your hair. So uh, yeah, reduce the stress, change the uh, hormonal balance in your body by reducing the stress, and you could actually end up with darker hair, maybe. So the only other ways that you can actually reverse your white hair in your beard is by using a dyeing solution. So there's really two levels to this. The first one is using a dye. I really like the, uh, I think it's the Grizzly Bear Mountain dye. Anyway, it's a natural dye. It's got henna. I'll put a link in the description. But uh, that is my favorite for dyeing a beard. I think it's just because it doesn't use any harsh chemicals. It lasts for much longer. Um, and this dyeing is absolutely safe for your beard as long as you're not allergic to any of the ingredients. And by using natural ingredients, you're going to minimize that risk. So really, that is your best option. If you don't like the idea of using like a permanent or semi-permanent solution, you can use things like a beard filler and beard uh, pens, which are also incredible ways just to cover up and touch up some little areas of your beard that you may not be happy with in terms of their color. So uh, yes, those two things I think are really important. And there's a, I think it's it's like a little lipstick for your beard as well as beard pens. Um, I'll put all of the links in the description to the product so you can go see which one will work best for you. Um, if your beard is like white all over, I think dye is your best option. And if you've got these little spot areas like I'm starting to get. You can use the beard pen, the fibers, um, or other sort of like temporary dyeing techniques like the little beard lipstick thing that you can rub on it. Um, those, you know, come out when you next wash your beard, but it could be a fantastic option if you just need to cover it up for that little special occasion. We've covered everything you need to know about whether or not your beard going white can be reversed. Let me know in the comments what you would add and your experience, and I shall see you in the next video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if it has been helpful to you.